Hey guys, my name is Dritzt. I'm from Seward, Alaska, and uh, this is Admiral Cedar Barkley, and this is my ambulance. So welcome inside. This is uh, this is home, and um, yeah, I guess we'll start with the kitchen because that's the uh, most important part. Very snack oriented. <laughs> For starters, I've got a NutriChef induction stove. Um, we decided to go with induction because we didn't like the idea of having gas in the actual uh, house, just because worst case scenarios. And uh, we went with induction because of the fact that the actual stove itself stays cool. So um, we don't have to worry about him like hopping up here, burning his paws or us like, you know, how's it going? Um, burning ourselves. And uh, surprisingly, it actually uses much less electricity, which is really great for the um, battery banks here. And um, just has a little bit of uh, startup cost and getting it to function with all of the moving parts right now. So I actually really enjoy that. Um, I've got my sink here. Um, this is just a stainless steel uh, mixing bowl that I uh, cut to fit into my little space right here. Um, the pipes and fittings absolutely were a uh, nightmare to put together, <laughs> but um, they turned out really nice, I think. Um, I've got a switch over here, turns on my water. And then um, it's a toggle switch, so you have to hold it one way or the other. Got a little plug so it can fill up and wash dishes. And um, then underneath, I store all of my um, silverware, my bowls. We got these bamboo bowls, which are really cool. Uh, here in Seward, we only have one uh, grocery store. It's the Safeway. And um, in early spring, they do a Monopoly uh, game, which is you just get coupons and stuff. It's really silly, but we really get into it because there's not much else going on early. You know. So one of the things that they give out is Shutterfly coupons. So we made custom plates which are amazing. There's cedar. <laughs> um, and uh, just, uh, you know, your basic stuff. We've got a cutting board, some soap, a uh, couple of different uh, koozies and uh, little places to put our pots because the pots do get hot. Everything's bungeed in place. Found the induction cook set at Goodwill, which is awesome. And um, once it all works and goes together, it does not take any time to actually like start cooking and boiling water, which is really, really nice. Um, we've got a couple of different storage containers. This one's got my coffee in it. Um, kind of still setting everything up as far as this goes. Um, right now in this container right here, I've got most of my um, food set up and uh, storage here just for quick goodies, you know, little bits of things. Um, this is actually Cedar's water bowl right there. Uh, we've got a couple of little thermoses that we use for the water. And um, yeah, for right now, this is just what we're using. In the end, we will have our all of our food storage in the bench underneath. Um, but that's our kitchen setup right now. This is where we keep our clothes. Um, right now it's just set up for uh, my girlfriend. This is just her daily wardrobe. Underneath we have, um, we have a bubbles problem. So this is accessible from bed and we have just some snacks because you always need snacks. I'm actually, I really am proud of this. This is actually my laundry hamper and trash bin. And um, I was super worried when I was cutting through this wall because all of the exterior cabinetry are lined with aluminum, uh, aluminum. And so I didn't know where this wall exactly led to. And I didn't know if I was going to have to like cut through a layer of, um, aluminum to make it work. Um, but it was not aluminum. So that made this a lot easier. I actually ended up like on the, like a couple of these where the, uh, skill saw was being weird. Um, ended up using my multi-tool saw and <laughs> cutting through the last little layers. Um, this wood and all of the rest of the wood that I used, uh, in this is actually, um, it's locally cut, uh, Sitka spruce. And, um, last year I was, uh, 
helping build a cabin and the lumber yard shut down, which was uh, fantastic. But we have a mill down at the place where I work. And so we um, had some fallen logs that we just sliced up and then they've been uh, drying for a year. So this cabinet door I made with um, Sitka spruce that was cut down on the property, which is super cool. And um, yeah, it's just got a couple of little eye hooks there and um, whatever you call this, I found at the, uh, at the store and it works out perfectly keeps everything uh, out of the way and organized, which is very nice. I got the ambulance off of Craigslist and uh, I just I saw it go up one day. I was just scrolling through the vans. I was kind of itching to do another build. This is my second build and um, when I had the idea of doing an ambulance build just because there's so many components that are already there that um, I thought it would be a good place to start. And um, when this guy went up on the market, it was um, it has 35,000 original miles on it and um, it was $5,000 and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and so I messaged him. We drove across the peninsula to uh, Nikiski. We picked it up and um, it was just too cool to pass up on so we got it and um, drove it back and then um, the idea was that we were going to build it out and live in it full time we'd been living in a wall tent for a, a past couple of years and um, we love our tent but it is an open tent and um, it's not something you live in in the winter and um, it's you know walls are nice walls are really just the thing um, we live in Seward, which is a rainforest, and I'm a kayak guide, so um, I'm pretty soggy most of the time. And um, yeah, we were very excited to, for the prospect of having a space big enough that we could uh, live in and stand up and move around and do all the things in. My first build was a Dodge Caravan, and while it was super cool, super comfy, extra stealth, um, it was just so, only so much, you know, crouching and whatever you could do. And um, so this is this was really a nice upgrade. Here is my house panel, and so uh, this controls our lights up above you, which are kind of hard to see right now. So that's okay. But um, I've got a uh, action area. It's my light for right here and then i've got the telemetry area turns on the light over top of my stove and then i have a fan an exhaust fan all the way in the back there kind of sucks out some air um which is kind of nice as well and then when we got it we actually um these speakers are uh the one project that the person before us did and um so we actually have really nice speakers in the back here and it just separates the house from the home um so that's cool. You can see back behind here, um, this is where all of this comes into play with the rest of the electricity. This uh, ridge actually has all of the um, electrical on top as well as all the siren lights and uh, oxygen tubing going down through it. And it all comes back into this. This is my panel to check out my um, house batteries. It's also to control my uh, inverter. So when this turns on, I can check how the charge of my batteries is doing, as well as I can um, plug into some of the different uh, outlets here. And um, they'll run uh, for the most part, pretty much everything except my stove, which is wonderful. Um, <laughs> and then in this is the original electrical paneling. Um, yeah. It's a lot. I uh, really like, this is a 86 ambulance. And so all of this electrical is from the seventies. And um, yeah, I really, I'm still working on mapping all of that out because uh, it's a lot. And I don't know very much about electricity, but uh, one screw at a time, we're figuring it out. <laughs> This is the heater. It comes off of the engine. So whenever the engine is on, I can turn this on and um, it radiates heat out here. It's got a fan kind of just pushes the heat in. It's not super duper strong, 
and uh, every time we've been in here like living wise we've been in here during the summer we don't really need it a lot this is just a storage cubby we've got um, snacks and cleaning supplies up in here again very snack oriented um, this is right now just my linen closet essentially this is also where I keep Cedar's dog food um, we have just some uh, coat hangers to dry out towels and stuff this is all of Cedar's bedding um, I originally this was the original um, mattress pad that went on my bed and um, to make the bed I had to cut everything like super specific just so that it would fit and um, this makes a wonderful like length pillow um, so I just kind of store it down in there um, eventually I want to put a refrigerator right here um, we've been looking at a few different compact refrigerators and um, we'll see once unfortunately I've got an awkward height in here it's um, I want to say it's 44 inches tall and um, yeah either they're like you know 32 inches tall or they're 56 inches tall and so it's either gonna be like here or like here and there's only so much cutting I can do um, this is my front door and um, this step here in V2 I'm thinking to cut into the van so that this will be a shower pan and um, eventually when I have the hot water hooked up I'll be able to have a hose come over here and section this off to be an indoor shower which is um, a real game changer. This is build V1. <laughs> um, right now we've got um, we've got our own place. Again, this is kind of just like uh, a cabin away from home to like kind of keep Cedar, keep Kim, and uh, be comfortable. Um, and then so we are definitely planning on being here at least for another year till our le lease ends and. Um, We've got to go, I just spent at the beginning of uh, season here, right before my new job started, um, I spent three weeks like building this as, into what it is now. And um, so there again is savings. <laughs> um, so I've got to work for a year and um, kind of figure out exactly what I want to do with it next. It does need some mechanical repair um, and uh, just some last minute touch ups but it is super 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 bad on gas mileage uh, we get about six miles per gallon and um, we've got one 16 gallon tank right now that we can use and then i need to drop the other 16 gallon tank and either clean it to the best i can or replace it with a new one depending on how bad it is i haven't gotten a chance to look into it yet um, so our range will soon double but is still pretty limited and um, would it be awesome to ideally have this be a cross-country rig yes and that is the goal I would say is that like before the end I would love to take this ocean to ocean um, how soon or not that'll be I'm not sure This uh, bed is my Murphy bed and again it's made from the Sitka spruce that um, we cut down and milled out and um, this is chalk paint which is really actually really fun to work with um, kind of gives it that like old antique look which we were kind of going for underneath here is storage I don't have anything in here right now but this will be where I keep all of my like dry goods all of my food and um, big uh we we do a lot of cooking from scratch so we have like 25 pounds bags of uh, sugar flour and rice that we usually keep as well as a lot of canned dry goods that we'll uh store in here most of the weight is on this side of the vehicle so having all of the um actual like food storage on this side pots and pans and what have you we figured would be good because also we're going to be cooking mostly with the bed up and um, that makes the kind of the flow of the place a lot easier um, with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull this, uh, down and set it up. It does take a little bit of a uh, finagling, but 
it's pretty cozy once it's all done. You're gonna like this one. I work on boats a lot and so I ended up just setting up a cleat and uh, tying it off to the frame which is uh, just cool to me. I don't know. Um, I wanted to snatch one up from a, one of the trash boats around in the uh, dumpster but I ended up making this instead and it fits just too perfectly to change up now. So this folds right down to here and um, that I'll usually tie up in a daisy chain just to keep it up off the uh, off the bed itself. And yeah, that's the bed once it's all said and done. Um, so I had to build this frame to fit the space between the ceiling and the top of the bench and um, it was it's not quite a full mattress, it's not quite a twin mattress, it's bigger than a twin mattress, it's not as long as a normal mattress, um, but it fits exactly. And um, this has plenty of room for myself and uh, my girlfriend in here, and um, occasionally when Cedar is uh, deciding not to take half the bed, he comes up and snuggles in too, but usually I'll take his bedding and uh, make a little spot for him right here, and um, that's that. We also have all of our outlets available to charge our phone, our laptop, and that sort of thing for movie night. And uh, that's the bedroom. Now that we have a nice cozy bed and uh, you know, you're in here, you're relaxing, you've had your meal, it's time for the most important part of the day. This seat came with the ambulance. We were like looking at it, we were all done, and he, the last thing we were doing as, he was, as we were pulling away, the guy was like, wait, do you want this comfy chair that came with it? And it's like been in my uh, storage unit forever. I was like, absolutely. So we pulled it out, installed it again. And um, so we've got this really nice little nook here. Um, I've lived in tents forever and uh, lived out in the woods. My girlfriend is wonderful and has always like accompanied me and been all down for going out into the woods and out into the boonies. But she's like, if you build me a house, it has to have two things. It has to have a kitchen, and it has to have a library. So these cubbies um, are my library. And uh, this is Kim's favorite spot in the van. And so right now I've got a bunch of uh, tools and parts and stuff and the rest of them just because I'm still building things out. But really important part here is the library finishes everything up, makes it a home. So. In here is um, the water holding setup. This is my first six gallon tank and uh, it just goes straight up to the pump and uh, in through the house. I uh, underestimated how much of uh, trouble it would be to drill through aluminum. Turns out, yeah, aluminum's solid. And um, ended up finding these two that like filled this space just perfectly. This in V2 is going to be my water heater. Got it free out of a um, old boat that I found on Seward Free Cycle. And um, yeah, I wi wired all of this myself, which is super, I'm super proud of. It's about the simplest it could be, but you know, bear with me. Right here, I've got two six volt batteries ran together to be 12 volt. And this powers my inverter, gets charged via my uh, charge controller, and then runs everything else in the house. This is the helm, and um, it is just got every whistle and doodad. Uh, this is my master switch, so starting this van has a whole ignition system. Uh, you have to turn the batteries on, flip the master switch, and then you can start the uh, ambulance up. It is four-wheel drive, uh, which is really, really great. We ended up, uh, I was snowed in where uh, it stayed over the winter, and we had like a two or three foot pile of snow behind us that was like iced up, and our uh, loader was broken, so I was really kind of worried about not being able to get out in time to like start working on it. And sure enough, I put this baby in four-wheel drive, and it didn't even feel it. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, but yeah, this is my command center and um, kind of controls both the front and back, which is super fun. In total, I've spent $6,000 on this rig and um, 
that is like a lot a lot of money for me but um like get out there and like do it up and like you know put your hands to work and uh you'd be amazed at the cool places you'll go and those cool things you'll build and so just uh don't let it seem like it's a thing that you can't achieve just because like everybody else is you know spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to do whatever and uh, maybe not hundreds of thousands but you know what i mean some rigs <laughs> um but yeah just get out there and do it and enjoy it thanks for coming and checking out the uh the rig and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed building it and um yeah have a good day gal